Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. It's starting off as a sit down because I did something very, very stupid. While I was editing this video, I managed to delete, I managed to delete all the footages that I wanted to share with you guys in this vlog. So <laughs> it's been quite traumatic for me. Everything's been traumatic for me, but yeah, it's been quite upsetting for me because obviously I spent all that time recording Just making sure the footage was right in order for you guys to be able to enjoy the vlog But obviously my laptop Was up, like my laptop was basically saying that my disk is full and I had my hard drive connected I didn't realize I was deleting Content off my hard drive as well as my laptop to be able to free up space. So Thank God I'm still have the footages of before the shoot and the day of the shoot because all that stuff was still saved onto my memory card, my camera memory card. Whereas um, the footages prior, um, yeah, I'd lost that. <laughs> what I did is I managed to recover some files. Um, some of the pictures came back, some of the videos came back. However, with the videos, they, most of them came back corrupt. So I just wanted to basically sit down and talk you guys through the process. There's a lot I need to say, so grab yourself a tea. I've got my one here. I've actually written notes because my memory is not that large. <laughs> this is actually our first makeup refurb video. I'm sure you guys are aware at this point, we've been renovating our flat for some time now. We literally had to turn the place upside down. The flat was a serious fix upper and I've been, up until this point, I've been documenting our reno journey on Instagram. And last year, I received the most exciting email from Hills Furniture and they wanted to collaborate with us the idea is to promote their design service team which by the way has been fantastic it's been a complete dream to be able to work with hills furniture i'm still in denial i can't believe that it's happened when i received that email in december i was literally saying to rob and my family like this cannot be real like surely they don't have the right person i didn't think twice around january time we met with their interior designer um her name's nicola normally you would go in store meet the team physically get to sit down etc speak about specifications measurements um i think they also normally would come to your house see the room that you want to design or decorate however because of the pandemic we didn't get to do that so we had a zoom call with nicola which was great um it was on a sunday afternoon we basically took her around the room virtually which was a complete tip by the way um, we still had stuff everywhere and i remember thinking to myself i actually remember even saying to rob like oh my gosh i don't know how she's going to be able to visualize the space because we literally have junk everywhere it was completely fine we took her around showed her the dining room space because that's what we wanted to renovate we wanted to renovate our dining room space uh, because the living room we pretty much have tackled down um, we're just looking for the perfect sofa then with the bedrooms they weren't going to be ready in time for us to be able to do this project so we went for the dining room and then um, i think it was about an hour zoom call conversation where rob and i spoke about um what we like what we're interested in we sent nicola over our pinterest boards we sent her the measurements of our dining room um, we even went through the hills website and kind of gave her an idea of what we're interested in so we already had an idea of the dining table everything else we weren't really sure with we already had the antique cupboards here which we um, purchased in an antique store in wales we already had the fireplace here so i made nicola aware that yeah we have these two items that will definitely be in the dining room at this point i know what to do with the cupboards i'd already had an idea of what i wanted to do with the fireplace i wanted to upcycle it paint it black etc but you know she kept reassuring us and telling us not to worry it will all work out then i think a week after she came back with some mood boards and honestly guys these mood boards were just perfect there were three of them and she'd asked us to come back to her with um you know we didn't have to pick out one mood board they were quite different despite the fact that they had the dining table there one of it had um, a different pendant light i think one of it had an armchair etc we 
went through the mood boards and we kind of tried to figure out which one we'd like. Rob really, really loved Tom Raffield's Pendant Light. He really wanted to have that. And honestly, I'm so glad we went with his idea because it, it fits the room perfectly, but you'll see that in a moment. We went back to Nicola, we discussed exactly what we want. I remember <laughs> Rob and I, we were both a bit panicky because there was just, there was a lot of compromising we needed to do. We needed to do. And um, and Nicola was just perfect. She was just like, guys, don't worry, you know, just give me till tomorrow. <laughs> so um, she then emailed me the final mood board. And yeah, she hit the nail on the head. We were so happy with this mood board, so happy with the fact that she was able to put together our ideas and just make both of us happy <laughs> you know rob was really happy with it i was really happy with the products that she'd chosen for us so i will put the mood board up here now so this is the mood board that she'd sent to us so you can see the pendant lights there our dining tables there we also have the tom ramfield um, floor lamp which we were both really happy with and the wishbone chairs just they were perfect so they have different colors of the wishbone chairs i think they have a black one a natural oak looking one and then we went for the dark one to kind of match our antique cabinet and that was the best thing we did because it looked perfect together and once we were happy with the mood board we gave nicola the all clear we were happy with everything so the product started arriving to the flat just before the shoot which worked out perfectly fast forward a few months later when the rules started to ease down a little bit i went to go meet the girls at the hills furniture store at their branch at the tottenham court road normally have the option of going there from the get-go but obviously we didn't have that chance I went there um, we had a quick sit down it was so nice to meet the girls in real life because up until this point we've been speaking virtually i met sophie chelsea anna and victoria who were then later going to come to the house to style and do a shoot they took me around the hills furniture store which i'd never been to i'd always walked past it she'd never been inside so it was such a nice experience the girls took me around and i was able to see the furniture in real life because up until that point we hadn't seen the furniture in real life i did actually vlog the whole thing but like i said i've lost all the footage <laughs> i'm just gonna insert some pictures that i took on my phone of hills so yeah overall the service was perfect it was amazing i've never ever experienced anything like this before so if you guys are thinking of styling your home or your office etc hills have this really good service and normally they would pair you up with an interior planner who would basically shadow you throughout the whole process they are amazing at putting all your ideas on paper because i really struggle with that i hope you guys are still with me <laughs> but now it's kind of easier for us to kind of move on to other rooms so um i'm sure you guys pretty much know this by now but our ground floor everything is pretty much open plan we've opened up the space so behind me we've got the living room and then behind the camera um there's the kitchen and the dining room is now designs and i was literally saying to rob the other day like it now makes life a bit easier for us because now we can kind of take the furniture and pick our kitchen out based on the dining room um but yeah guys it's been amazing i'm really happy that i still have the footage of the shoot which is going to come after this sit down video i know i've been rambling on for ages i'm pretty sure <laughs> none of this is going to make sense when it comes to editing it so i really hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog i'm going to link all of the products that you see on this vlog in the description below just in case you guys are interested in it um i know the dining table is very popular and so is the wishbone chairs but yeah um so i will see you guys in our next vlog don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video oh my gosh guys i lost my camera there for a sec <laughs> i'm at the flat it's looking really really cozy as cozy as it's ever been that is the kitchen by the way guys it's a complete tip that's the last room we're gonna touch because it's going to be very expensive <laughs> we kind of just want to wait to the end of the year before we tackle it sorry guys my backgrounds are very white so that's much better that is the last room we're gonna touch we're gonna kind of focus on the kitchen space towards the end of the year we're not in a rush either just received the mirror that's going on top of the fireplace and i'm gonna open the box and i've got all these stuff that have come a couple of days ago i'm gonna open it all up with you guys what's really exciting 
is that I got my nails done today. I got my toes done. To be honest, I don't normally go out to get a pedicure. I kind of wanted to treat myself. Let me show you guys my outfit of the day. Just a tracksuit set from H&M. It goes quite high. <laughs> Literally, look how high it goes. That's how high it goes. And then it's like that. I've got my hair up in a bun this time. <laughs> Girls are coming tomorrow morning. Really want to stay up quite nicely for them. Um, so that is nice and cozy. I've managed to buy like a lot of storage boxes. I am so obsessed with storage boxes. Asda is the best place to get storage boxes. So I grabbed a couple of couple of them and I've just managed to separate things in boxes just so you know organization because I am an OCD freak and I just love being organized. Don't you guys love being organized? Um apologies because I'm also very out of focus. <laughs> Oh my gosh guys, how cute does it look? It looks so nice. Right, so let's start unboxing. We'll start with this one first. Um, I'm just gonna use some scissors to unbox. And then what I'm gonna do is on my way home, I'm gonna pop over to Sainsbury's. There's a cardboard recycling area there. So I'm just gonna go over there. I've got this cardboard with me and recycle it. Ooh, so these ones are glasses. Are glasses or cups? Um, Breast Copenhagen mugs. Ooh, fancy. These are mugs. So there's a box of four of them. I love it. So cool. And they feel quite ceramic. And the reason I said glass, because inside it's glass. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on the camera, but this is right up my street, so I love that. What I might do actually is I might take everything out and like place it on the floor. This is the thing, we don't have much furniture at the moment in the flat, so I'm just going to take everything out, place it on the floor, so that at least when they come tomorrow, everything's out in the open, so we have an idea of what we have, because I can imagine <laughs> they probably can't remember what um, I have. Alright, so these look like light bulbs. I know there's a there's a lamp, a couple of lamps actually. So I'm going to put these to the side. I'm going to flatten these cardboard boxes later. You guys don't have to see me do that. That would be rather boring. Jars plant pop in grey small. This is quite cool. I like this handmade that is pretty cool i don't know what plant i'm gonna put in this yet actually i have a think about it i do actually have a standing knife that i could use to open these boxes but you cannot be baba can't go grab it oh there's more bulbs so does that mean i have more than more than one lamp or did they send me more bulbs i'm quite confused Decorative LED, right. So maybe this should be the one that goes on the pendant. And some more cardboard. Cool, so we've got some more little accessories here. This one is a balanced candle holder brass. Danish design. Okay, so the brass candle holder. I assume the candle sits on here, kind of thing. And then I guess you can dress that on your table, have it as a centerpiece, etc. It's quite cool. I will leave that there. Is that this one is a stone incense burner. I do love incense burners, actually. I think I might leave all the little accessories in this box because I don't I don't want to lose them. So I've put the fire extinguisher back and the candle holder back in its in its box. And this is 
the linen runner. And this is a rug. No, it's a fro. This is a fro. So this is a rug. So, it's nice. Keep myself cozy and warm. Right, let me fold this. And then we've got, um, I'm going to love this, cutlery, four pieces. It's a fork, knife, spoon, and teaspoon. Wow. Look at that. To be honest, it's too nice to use. I'm probably going to do like a Monica. <laughs> this is going to be like my special cutlery that, you know, I have for only special events. And then cry every time someone uses it. Large container. like so it's ceramic it's nice it's a nice container with a lid on it so maybe this is quite good to keep like little items in etc so because this is quite delicate i'm going to keep it in its box i'm going to keep that in its box as well all right what's this this is a small bud vase vase these vases in stone. All right. Love that. I think I'm going to definitely put this in my living room shelving, shelf units. I've got a little cushion here as well. I don't want to open it because you know it, it can get quite dusty so i'll probably open this up tomorrow but it's a nice little cushion um tis Veal's side plates there's four of them in here let's open them ah these are perfect oh these would go perfectly I'm going to leave these out, but once we're finished tomorrow, I'm definitely going to put it back in its cardboard box because, again, I don't want anything to break. These are the Ripple Smokes Grey Long Glass Set. So, yeah, again, beautiful, amazing. I can't wait to make little cocktails out of this. Yeah, I love it. And there's four of them in this box. Everything I'm opening up right now, actually, I'm going to put them down in the description box below. So if you guys are interested to buy, it's easy access for you guys, but love these. Love, 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 love. I'm going to keep these in its, in its box. And then I've got a frame here. And a cool piece of art. So I'm assuming this goes in here. So I put it in its frame. I'm gonna leave this here. Super pretty. I like that. It's really nice. Okay, what's next? This is the Nordic Sands 12 piece box set. Uh, this is one of the plates that comes in the set. So I'm gonna keep it in its box. Because again, I wanna keep it nice and safe. So this is the, these are bowls, these are Buddha bowls, wait are they Buddha bowls? No, these are just the normal bowls, ah, and these are probably bigger plates, yeah, I think, I think these are definitely bigger plates, here you go, amazing. I'm so looking forward to the shoot tomorrow. <laughs> so looking forward to it. Okay, so. I've got set these two. And I think these might be the actual, yeah, they're the frames, they're oak frame. Uh, let me open these up. And then I can. They are sealed shut. <laughs> How are you 
meant to open this box? I don't get it. Like, all the fragile stuff was much easier to open. TV on, I have music on in the background, but when I'm vlogging, I have to turn that all off. Obviously, it's annoying for you guys to have to hear TV or music in the background, but at the same time, copyright. But just making me realize how much I hate being in silence. <laughs> and I feel almost crazy, like I'm pretty much just talking to myself out loud. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. Oh guys, look! Reflection, isn't it? Here we go, here we have it. The frames, the vases, the utensils. So I have it already here for the stylist tomorrow. So she can come and do her thing. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so today is shoot day. I've dragged my sister along with me to the flat. We're just pretty much setting up before the girls come. So this is what the dining room looks like so far. This is the Lisbon um, dining table and it comes with a bench. The whispering chairs are on its way um, in a few hours. And then you guys know about my mirror. So the girls are gonna come and style this space up. Um, this is our empty kitchen. This is Insta reality. So I've just set up a few um, refreshments, some fruits. I'm gonna set that up before they come. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I'm just giving it, I'm giving it its last little spruce. Just making sure it's nice and cozy for when the girls arrive. Um, but I'm gonna try my best to vlog the whole entire time. Um, or I might just pass the camera on to my sister and she can do the recording. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. You've got those, yeah. yeah. And then we've got the fiddle leaves and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right then. So Let's make the bench. Yeah. It's so nice. I've never actually... Like, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really lovely. And I was so impressed because I was quite concerned it was going to be too big. Yeah. Are these dried? Yeah. Oh, they go perfectly nice. here. Yeah. Did you get this from the flower market as well? Yeah. It's great place, guys. You need to go. For oh, sure. Did you, have, did you guys find the candlesticks? Oh, uh, I didn't find those. No, I haven't seen them. Did they? Yeah, no. yeah, they are here. I saw them yesterday. Oh, here they are. Oh, oh mate. <laughs> Oh great, do you just want to put one in each? Yeah. Sure. Sure thing. Sure thing. Yeah. Anna, you've done an amazing job styling this. <laughs> I mean, it's nice product, so it kind of just does it itself, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Like you have to have like the magic touch. Like I couldn't come in and make it look how you. Yeah. You, know, you put things on a table, but I couldn't like. The magic. It's, it's, like, it's the zhuzh, yeah. Yes. So Anna's just set up, I mean, and it looks shot. amazing. Yeah. Oh, 
Ooh, it wow, looks it so good. And then there's the camera set up. I'll show you guys the first shot. Oh gosh, sorry. That's no, alright. If my oh Anna's in it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> really done. And then I will not be seeing at all. So the chairs have arrived, and they look fantastic. It goes brilliant with the cabinet. I think it might work well with like one. I don't know, or maybe having one there and one there. How is it? Wow. They're coming out so nice. So still, we're currently shooting. Um, we've ordered some lunch after an hour of us attempting to... <laughs> after an hour of us attempting to, to order some food, so we're quite grateful that's on the way. Um, the setup is looking lovely. Victoria is currently shooting from the kitchen. She's over there in the corner somewhere, but she's been taking detail shots. But how lovely is this? Hi guys, so that's it, we've all wrapped up, the girls have gone, I'm just cleaning up so I can leave but honestly it's been such an amazing day and I can't wait for you guys to see the pictures, the reels, it was perfect. Anna the stylist was amazing, the photographer, she took some beautiful shots um, which I can't again, I can't wait for you guys to see. Um, and Sophie and Chelsea were just amazing and a laugh to be around and um, yeah it was just a beautiful experience I'm so 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 glad with how it turned out Nicola um, who is the lady that did our interior service was she she hit the nail on the head she hit the nail on the head I was very anxious because um, I didn't know really what to expect and honestly now that the furniture is here it just looks beautiful. It complements each other perfectly. The chair goes perfectly with the cabinet and then the beloved pendant light, which is just everyone's favorite, has also, you know, is such a compliment. Um, but overall, the experience has been amazing and I am so glad that I was able to take you guys on the journey from start to finish. And it's now April the 29th and we started this project in January. And it's just nice to kind of see it all close and come to such a beautiful ending. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching my video. Forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. I want to know what's been your favorite feature of our dining room makeover. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.